Yeah. Good afternoon, the Old Manor Hotel. The Old Manor Hotel in Fife is one of the most successful small hotels in Scotland. With a turnover of one and a half million, it has run a profit every year since it opened. The boss is Alistair Clark. Alistair runs the three-star, 26-bedroom hotel with obsessive commitment. Work starts at 5.30 a.m. He lives just yards from the hotel. I just enjoy being here and uh, you know, if I don't have another holiday away from here, I'll be delighted. I've spilled some stuff on the ground, so rather than go and get somebody else to do it, I just pick it up myself. It doesn't mean to say that I won't go and speak to the person that should have done it. Can you check this order, mate? I ain't your mate, pal. He's got quite a loud voice and, you know, quite aggressive tone in his voice when he, when he, you know, if he's wanting to tell you off. Oh, bully, I suppose. Quite simply. I bully people into doing what I want them to do, which is usually what the business needs to be done. Alistair is 65 and should be retiring, but there's one problem. He fears that the hotel might fall apart if he passes it on to his sons. Hundreds of businesses every year that go down that children have taken over from the parents or the grandparents and suddenly it's not them anymore. Mm -hmm. Elder son George has a background in finance. Younger son Michael is a former chef and now runs the hotel's two restaurants. So they should have all the right skills to run a hotel. Do I trust George and Michael to run the business? <sighs> Difficult to answer that question. Alistair's complaints about his sons range from a lack of commitment to a failure to join the Rotary Club. He says he won't retire until they meet his standards. You've got to make your mark. You've got to make sure that the business is still moving forward at the same time. It's about being involved with the community. I don't think you're right when you say you're the only one that seemed to be involved in the community. I don't, th I don't think that's right at all. Well, that's the first time you've commented on that. Well, I don't think that's right. right. You also seem to be involved in it. I think we can tell me what you're involved in, if you like. I'm not going to do that here. No, I don't think right. so. I'm not going to do that here. Why not? I don't think it's the appropriate time and place. I don't think it is. If I were one of the boys, I, I would seriously consider bumping him off. <laughs> this has a total kind of... Uh, this ain't going to change the feel about it. Does the prince murder the king? Or um, do you find a way of actually resolving it to everyone's satisfaction? And I, I, me being me, I'd rather... Well, I'm not. I'm not really into patricide all that much, to be honest. I've kind of accepted the thing that he won't retire, um, in my own mind. 